Today, we're diving into the particle theory of matter, a fundamental idea that helps us understand what everything around us is made of. By the end of this lesson, you'll not only get the basics of the particle theory, but you'll also be able to tell the difference between pure substances and mixtures using this theory. Ready? Let's break it down. The particle theory of matter is like a set of rules that explain how matter, everything that has a mass and takes up space, behaves. Even though we can't see them, everything around us is made up of tiny particles. These particles are constantly moving and interacting with each other in ways that explain the properties of different types of matter, whether it's a solid, liquid, or gas. Here are the key ideas behind the particle theory. All matter is made up of tiny particles. Whether it's a chair, water, or the air you're breathing, everything is made up of microscopic particles like atoms or molecules. Particles have spaces in between them. Even though we can't see these spaces, particles are never completely packed together. In solids, the spaces are small, in liquids, they're bigger, and in gases, they're even larger. Particles are always moving. The movement depends on the state of matter. In solids, the particles vibrate in place. In liquids, they move around a bit more freely. And in gases, they zoom around quickly in all directions. Particles attract each other. There are forces that pull particles toward one another. In solids, these forces are strong, which is why solids keep their shape. In liquids and gases, the forces are weaker, so the particles can move more freely. Particles move faster when they're heated. Add heat and the particles gain energy. This is why a solid can melt into a liquid or a liquid can boil into a gas because the particles are moving faster as the temperature rises. These principles help us understand how matter behaves and changes its state, like how ice melts into water or water evaporates into steam. Now that we understand how particles work, Let's use the particle theory to explain the difference between pure substances and mixtures. A pure substance is made up of only one kind of particle. This means that no matter where you look in the substance, you'll find the same type of particles throughout. Pure substances can be elements or compounds. Elements are pure substances made of one type of atom. For example, gold is made of only gold atoms and oxygen is made of oxygen molecules. Compounds are pure substances made of two or more types of atoms that are chemically combined. Water is a compound made of hydrogen and oxygen atoms bonded together, but every water molecule is the same. Because pure substances are made of only one kind of particle, they have consistent properties. For example, pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and freezes at zero degrees Celsius under normal conditions, and those properties won't change unless the water is mixed with something else. A mixture is made up of two or more different kinds of particles. Unlike pure substances, the particles in a mixture are not chemically combined, which means they can be separated by physical methods, like filtering or evaporating. Mixtures can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Homogeneous mixtures also called solutions, look like they're made of one thing, but they actually contain different particles evenly spread throughout. An example is salt water. The salt dissolves in the water, so it looks like one substance, but it's really a mixture of salt and water particles. Heterogeneous mixtures have visibly different parts, where you can see the individual components. A salad is a great example. You can easily spot the lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers. In these mixtures, the different particles aren't evenly distributed. Let's use the particle theory to explain the difference between pure substances and mixtures. In a pure substance, every particle is the same, whether it's an element or a compound. These particles are all arranged and behave in a consistent way. But in a mixture, there are different kinds of particles interacting in the same space. Since they're not chemically bonded, each type of particle in the mixture keeps its own properties. That's why you can separate the components of a mixture, but not a pure substance. For example, if you heat salt water, which is a mixture, the water particles will evaporate, leaving the salt behind.
But if you heat pure water, only the water particles will change state because they're all the same. The particle theory of matter helps us understand how everything is made up of tiny, constantly moving particles. These particles behave differently depending on whether the matter is a pure substance, all one kind of particle, or a mixture, a combination of different particles. Pure substances have consistent properties throughout, while mixtures can have varying properties depending on what's in them. That's it for today's lesson. Next time you're mixing ingredients in the kitchen or noticing how different things react to heat, remember that it's all about those tiny particles at work.